19 of Vlogmas. I wish I could be saying good morning, but it is actually almost four o'clock and I am just getting in front of the camera now. I'm a little bit of a mess, but I have been painting a piece of furniture in our family room with chalk paint from Mango Reclaimed that I've been wanting to paint or repaint for a really long time. I'm really happy with it, but it took a lot longer than I thought. Glenn prepped everything and took all of the electronics out. That was a bit of a mess. The whole family room and kitchen is a complete disaster right now. It drives me crazy when I can't just finish something, but I've been waiting for the paint to dry for about an hour. And Glenn is just checking it now to see if he can start putting the shelves back in and setting stuff up again. It is time for me to think about dinner. I think I'm going to be making buffalo chicken strips tonight. And I did take some butter out earlier today in hopes that I would have energy tonight to make my first Christmas cookies. I think I'm going to make my shortbread meltaways, which I call Sandy's shortbread meltaways. They're not really mine. They're from Robin Hood Flour, I think, but they are a recipe I discovered really, really long time ago. And I think just about everyone that has tried them has asked for the recipe. And so now I just share the recipe everywhere and I refer to them as Sandy's shortbread meltaways. So I probably shared them last year because I make them every single year and they keep really well. So I thought I would start with those. I forgot to pick up fresh ginger for the other cookies that I always make. So those might have to come in a couple of days when I can pick that up. And it's already Saturday. Christmas Eve is Thursday. So once I get my family room put back together and cleaned really well, which will probably really be tomorrow, then it is time for the Christmas countdown. The crunch is on. I have to make my list that I keep talking about. I have not made my baking list or my grocery list for my final things. And I just haven't set a good schedule. All I know is that Christmas is Thursday and I wanna be ready and I have lots to do. So I'm gonna go check on Glenn and see how the cabinet is doing. It actually turned out really, really well. It's chalk paint and um, there's like a beeswax finish to put on it. So I might do that tomorrow just to really let the paint set properly. I might research it and see if it needs longer than that, but you put this wax finish on it later to really bring the color to life. But I'm gonna go have a peek right now. I just lit a candle in the dining room and I was looking at my really pretty plates and I thought I would share them with you because I don't think I have yet. So earlier in the fall, I was on the hunt for some Christmas dishes. I really wanted um, like the full place settings of some kind of beautiful Christmas holiday china. But after looking for a while, I just couldn't bring myself, because I don't have a lot of space, I couldn't bring myself to buy a whole set and it was a little pricey and I don't have a lot of storage space. so. I ended up seeing these 12 days of Christmas plates on the Anthropology website. I fell in love with them. There are obviously 12 and each one is different. They are so pretty. I love the style of them. All the colors are different. They're absolutely beautiful. I fell in love and so I purchased them. I can't tell who the artist is, but I'm pretty sure they are still on the Anthropology website. So I ordered those and they had been coming in in batches and then I had them all and I noticed on the website that they also had a large platter and I thought I would regret not getting it and I think it will be really pretty to put out Christmas cookies or to use even as a turkey platter. I'm not sure. I just loved it and so this is what I settled on for my holiday dishes and I think they're perfect for us. These plates will be great to just grab desserts, um, 
have appetizers, even lunch or leftovers. I just love them and they're not gonna take up too much space. So once Christmas is over, I'm just gonna store them in this cabinet with some of my other Christmas pieces and I'll be good to go. I also just got this little piece, which is super cute and I thought it would be really nice to put some of our Christmas cookies on. It's kind of inexpensive and it's plastic. It's not glass or anything, even this, it's just, um, it's just a plastic. And you can actually take that top tier off if you want to put a cake in it. But I like the two tiers because you can just pile up some different Christmas cookies on there. The brand of this is Wilton. They have like a cake dome and a loaf one, like all kinds of stuff. But they're a little bit hard to find because I think they keep selling out. I know that Wayfair had them. Amazon had some. And the, the one place that I also saw them was anthropology so I thought it was the perfect little piece to put Christmas cookies on and then cover them and keep them fresh and so I just put it out here next to the plates because once I start making some cookies I thought this might be a good spot to leave them and then whenever someone wants a cookie I will encourage them to use a plate and not just grab them so take a plate and take a cookie that's the plan. Let's see if it happens. You guys, I am normally in my pajamas, cozy on the couch, or in my room by this time. I'm pretty tired, but Glenn has taken over the family room. He is putting back all of the components and wires and I don't know. So there's not much to do. And I was about to stop for the night and I told James I was too tired to do the baking. And he said, oh, I'll help you. If you want to do it, I will clean up with you afterwards. So, such a sweetheart, I decided to go ahead and make one of my favorites, which I told you about, and it made me remember my history with this. So this is the book that I got that recipe from, 2006. These are just free little booklets that you can get in the Canadian grocery stores, 
um, around the holidays and it's put out by Robin Hood Flower. I remember getting this the year it came out. I actually grabbed a couple copies. I gave one to my mom and my sister and that is the recipe there. I'm going to put a link for this recipe in the description box because it is on their website and it is worth making. So I became obsessed, well not obsessed, but I just loved that, that recipe. And so every year I would keep my eye out for their booklets and I just found a whole bunch of them. They're so old, 2009, that was a spring one. I think this was a nice one too. There's some really good ones. Um, and they actually have one this year. I think, is this the one from this year? This might be it. So I found one and um, I just love collecting them. And this is another one that I've made. And I don't know if my friend Leslie from A Friend to Knit With watches these vlogs, but Leslie has a blog. And for many, many, many years, she would post her cookie of the week she made a cookie, I don't know if it was every Friday, but she always made a cookie of the week for her family and I loved it. And I remember one time she made these two after I shared them and they're adorable. They're brown sugar buttons. I'm wondering if I should make these two. I don't know if they're quite different enough, but I love these. So I collect these. I go searching for them when it's the holidays. Um, they usually have a display, a special baking display in the grocery store with all of the um, all of these products. So all the flour, the Crisco, the condensed milk, everything. So yeah, oh, raisins, ha. Huh. So I was just looking at those while my cookies are baking. I just took the last batch out. I am going to dust them with some icing sugar let them cool off and tuck them away. And then I'm going to finally get into my pajamas and I will probably give you the big reveal with the new hardware on my cabinet and the paint and pushed back into the corner tomorrow because it doesn't look like that's gonna be done anytime soon and I wanna upload this video. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.